Hi guys, uh, it's Casey here. I just woke up, as you're about to find out, and I'm going to take you through my little morning routine. My first step is coffee. I know you guys are all super busy. I'm sure a lot of you have full-time jobs, trying to get workouts in, trying to have a prayer life, trying to spend time with family, and try to do something on your own. Like, I get it. It's super, super chaotic um, and super hard. But what I want to encourage you today is with your prayer life, uh, because your relationship with God is something that can't be thrown on the back burner. And oftentimes, I know it's easy for me for that to happen. And so I just want to share a little something on how I try to keep God first in my everyday life, no matter how crazy or busy or how hard my days are. And for me, that is forcing myself to be a morning person. I hate mornings. I, us I used to hate mornings, but I'm like training myself to be a morning person, you know? Um, but so what I do to try to keep... My relationship with God thriving is to have prayer time in the morning because I know that if I do not have my prayer time in the morning, it just like doesn't happen. And so I want to try to share today my morning routine so that maybe it'll inspire you to also move your prayer time to in the morning so that you can make sure that your relationship with God doesn't get thrown on the back burner because you're doing it as soon as you wake up. So after I make my coffee, I usually go outside uh, to try to get some silence with the Lord. All right, so I'm finally outside and I'm just gonna simply sit outside. I'm not going to really try to pray anything. I'm just going to invite the Holy Spirit to come and be present with me and just simply sit at least for 10 to 20 minutes and just have silence with the Lord. I usually do silence first because it's when I have like a blank mind and I'm, it's easier for me to hear God first if I put silence first. Uh, next up, I usually pray my rosary. Next, I just kind of write everything I want to say to the Lord out. Next, I try to read uh, the gospel for the day and do Lexio Divina on it. And then my last step of prayer is to consecrate my day to the Lord. All right, so now I just want a little chat with you guys. Um, so, as important as working out and your family and your actual work and your friends are, are like they are important, your relationship with God is far more important because your relationship with God is like the thing that truly, truly matters in this life. It's, it's what is going to bring us to eternal life with God and what could be more important than that and our relationship with God is all our prayer like if we don't have a prayer life if we don't have a prayer routine if we only pray every once in a while our relationship with God is suffering so I just want to inspire and encourage you guys today that if you don't have a prayer routine in your day if you don't have that like sacred intimate time set apart for the Lord, I just really want to encourage you to go ahead and find that time that works best for you. Without this time in the morning to pray, my soul wouldn't be ready for the day. This is what I mean. The days that I choose to sleep in, which aren't very much anymore, but they happen every once in a while. The days that I choose to sleep in and I get maybe like five minutes of prayer in the morning and then I'm like rushing to whatever I need to do. Those are the days that are really hard. Like really hard uh, because my soul isn't ready I haven't like juiced up and like just sat before the Lord and just let him fill me when I do that my day is a hundred times better so maybe some of you guys are struggling right now with balancing everything I know it sounds crazy to add some one more thing on your plate but that's where our trust and faith in God comes that when we put him first we can trust that he can fill us up and prepare us for what he's about to give us. So, 
what helps me when I know I have hard days upcoming, busy days, whatever, I need to get my hour of prayer in the morning so that the Lord can fill me up. Because when he does, when I'm going through whatever hard thing I'm doing, maybe you're doing one of the fitness tests or you're practicing it today. If I let the Lord fill me up, I'm gonna be on fire. Oh, there's a bug. I'm gonna be on fire and I'm gonna be like, okay, God, I'm gonna give you glory in this race today. I'm going to give it my all and I'm gonna give my best, offer your glory. And I offer it up for this person on the team or I offer it up for my grandpa who doesn't know the Lord. Um, and I'm gonna do it well. Now, I don't know if that would be my attitude if I didn't have my morning prayer. So, I truly, truly believe in the power of prayer and how much the Lord can fill us up when we ask Him to. And what's even coolest is making time for your prayer life in your life right now fits into our three core values as our team. First one, shared belief. Obviously, belief. We're like pursuing the Lord. We are taking part in our faith. We are doing the most fundamental thing of shared belief. Second core value, meaningful achievement. You might think, well, how is this winning like games? Well, it might not be winning games right now, but if we put in our prayer time and we do well in our workouts because of it, we're going to win more games. Like the more fit we are, the more we give time to soccer, the more better we're gonna be and the more we're gonna play better together, which results in more won games. And to do that, we need a good prayer life. At least that's what I believe because God first and he blesses everything you do, right? Um, so if we make up our prayer uh, time, priority in our life, it results in meaningful achievement. And then our third core value, sacrificial unity. During, I don't know if some of you guys know this, but I did Life Teen Summer Missions this past summer. That's where I met Sarah. Actually, I think Sarah has this shirt. I think this is her parish. They like gave it to me because I had like an extra shirt, which is why it's my bed shirt because it's like triple X or something, I don't know. <laughs> During life team, we had this uh, phrase that whenever we were like saying bye to each other, we would say, see you in the Eucharist. And that means that whenever we receive the body of Christ, we're participating in the body of Christ, right? As like a body coming together, as a people, as a church coming together. And so we saw our loved ones, the people that we love, our friends, our family, in the Eucharist because we saw Jesus. And the more we all, so like our team, whenever we pursue the Lord, so if here's the Lord and here's our team, the more we all pursue the Lord and run after him, the more it's going to unite our team. The more we, we unite ourselves to Christ, the more our team will be united. So that is how increasing your prayer time and uh, maybe making it in the morning, whatever time it might be for you. Just making sure you have a prayer uh, time of your day, every single day. That is how it makes sure it fits our core values of who we're striving to be, of a shared belief, meaningful achievement, and sacrificial unity. I know that I have not met any of you guys in person, including Coach Rosser. I haven't met literally any of you because of COVID kept like pushing my trip back to Florida. And then like, guys, I've only seen the ocean like once in my life. <laughs> um, so even though I don't know any of you guys, like I haven't met any of you guys like face to face, like I already love you guys so, so much. Like you, I, you guys already mean so, so much to me, which is why I want you to know that like I am here for you. If you are struggling with your relationship with God, if you are struggling with accountability and you need accountability, like I will text you every day. Just send me a text and be like, hey Casey, I need, I need, I need accountability. Can you make sure I get a prayer in every day? Like whatever you need, I am here for you. Uh, because I already love you so, so much. Not because of what you've done, not because you're soccer players, but because of who you are. And that's daughters of God. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video today of my morning routine, and I hope it has inspired you to increase your prayer time or maybe even start it. I cannot wait to see you guys in the fall. Oh, and don't forget, make sure you do those workouts.